spiritual humans. Still, despite the fact I like this world, I do like to get sent back to my world. I do have an important match to take part in. Alright, oh, your upcoming battle. Let us discuss the matter inside the shrine, shall we? We will wait for you here, Takakun. With that, it seemed that Kitsun wouldn't accompany me any further. My steps growing a bit more hesitant, feeling a little bit nervous about being left alone with this woman. And here we are, at the place our first conversation unfolded. I guess now is a proper time to introduce myself. My name is Tsuyuri, and just like your two companions, I'm one of the spirits that inhabit this realm. And yet you're different than them, isn't that right? How observant of you. Yes, there is a difference between me and most spirits. The spirits have a hier hierarchy among them. The stronger spirit, the higher they are in standing. Of course, of our race, power often is associated with experience. So you're saying that you're an ancient being. Now that I wouldn't go that far, Takahiro. It's rude to question the girl's age. But onto the subject of your desire to return to your your own world. You're going to send me back? Great! I'm afraid sending you back is a pain beyond my capacities. Well wait, weren't you the one who sent me here in the first place? That would be an incorrect assumption. It was your wish at the shrine that sent you here. I did mention during our first encounter that this place is special, didn't I? Now that I thought about it, she did mention something along those lines. I briefly closed my eyes trying to recall what she had to mention before. The shrine is a place of power. That's right. Since you have spent time with the kitchen before, you arrived here. You likely know there is magic within this world. However, it's not that Meiko-chan can possess that magic. Rather, her body is able to establish that connection to the magic within this world. That sounds a bit complicated. Basically, people who can use magic normally can only do this because their bodies have a special link to the world's magic. Try to imagine it like this. The magic within the world flows several gateways. We commonly call them mana gateways, while those who possess the ability to magic do so because they contain a certain part in their body. A mana receiver could be a term for it. So you're also connected to the world like this. Ha! No, my boy. I am not borrowing the magic of this realm. I'm a powerful enough spirit to perform my own magic. However, the shrine is located, located on a mana gateway. What could translate to explanation how the shrine in your world is said to be capable of granting wishes? Then why can't you use that magic to send me back? Because it's not my magic that brought you here. It's the magic of the shrine, or rather, the world itself that put pulled you into this realm. So you're saying that I'm stuck here forever? Not forever. You simply need to carry out the world's will. Oh great, you're saying this planet is a will of its own. And how in the world am I going to learn what is it up what it is up to? That's what you have me for, silly. I'm the guardian of this shrine, so obviously I know its intentions. In your case, the task you were given was quite a harsh one. Don't tell me that, I'll have to collect wedding sashes. And marry my machichan in the process? You wish. All teasing aside, this region is having its fair share of problems. Uh, it's been a long time now since the spirits dwell within this realm shared with humans, but it hasn't always been like this. 
You mean the spirits of a world of your own? Yes. We used to have a world of our own. But our realm has started to merge with this one, causing some spirits to find themselves trapped here. Unfortunately, this has all occurred before the more powerful spirits had the opportunity to reverse the damage. So Machiko-chan and Maiko-chan are... They don't belong in this world. Albeit neither of them likely remembered clearly since they were still akin to a human toddler when they were sent to this world. I started to understand it slowly the reason why Kitsune and the villagers were such in uneasy terms. Anyone would be restless, restless if beings from another world that you had never seen before suddenly arrived at your doorstep. Is that the reason why there is a tension between them and the villagers? I'm afraid that the Kitsune sisters are the victim of the understandings. Misunderstandings. You see, Machi-chan and Maiko-chan aren't the only spirits in this country. There are others within this country that leads exactly to the problematic situation. You mean there are other Kitsune in this region? Not Kitsune, but they are also spirits. They were sent into this realm, just like the Kitsune sisters. But unfortunately, they were sent rather far from here. While Machitan and Maiko-chan were close enough for me to take care of, the others were an entirely different story. How exactly do you mean? Did something happen to them? Four. Four spirits were sent into this region alongside Maiko-chan and Machitan. When the worlds briefly emerged, unlike the kids and sisters, those four didn't have anyone to watch over them. And as a result, they've grown rather spoiled and wild. You're saying that they are wild spirits who are rather spoiled? That sounds like the recipe for troubles. Yes, they've grown oblivious to the way human society worked and their behavior made humans mistake those spirits as monsters. Even now, those girls and their game are mistaken as assaults, and as a result, there's such a tension between the spirits and humans. So then, it's because of those spirits are troubling the villagers that Machikotron and Maikotron are discriminated? You could say that's the reason. Then why didn't you try to stop those monster girls? Because I can't leave this forest. I'm the guardian of the shrine. So I can't leave my domain. Then again, I couldn't help but wonder what purpose Tsuyuri had behind telling me about the spirits. Could have been related to finding my way back home? Then solving the war, the problem with the spirits could be my ticket back to my own world? Possibly. I wouldn't be surprised if dealing with the four spirits would help solve the problem between the spirits and the humans. While it will be difficult to track them down, there might be an opportunity for you soon. An opportunity? I'm sensing one of them heading through the forest towards the village. Perhaps if you can convince Majitan, Makrochan, to help you save the village from whatever antics they are up to, you might be able to make villagers. At least accept the sisters. That idea didn't make sense. If Machiko and Michael were seen saving the village from a threat, they might be have been forgiven for a little made in silk scenario. I just hope this will work. Only time will tell. For now, it's best you get the girls and hurry towards the village to stop the wild spirits from causing a mess. Noting my head in agreement, I quickly ran outside trying to think of how I would convince Machiko and Michael to help me save the village. Certainly it would have been great if they were praised as heroes and their past pranks forgiven, but I imagine that the sisters wouldn't have had that many fond feelings towards the villagers after the treatment they received. I wonder how he'll solve the challenge set before him. Ah, I'm getting tired and hungry.
Should I save this for next week? you enjoyed it. I'm not that good. <laughs> but if you like it, that's good. Uh, that was long. <laughs>